Rage poem on the issue of breast cancer. Tea is made. Opeyemi is presenting. All right, I'm going to stir into my breakfast greens because that's what I want in the morning. A little bit of what I'm calling a rage poem. It's because I am speaking truth to power about some issues with respect to where we start on the prevention of breast cancer and how far away we are from that. So as I take my one organic egg, break it into a bowl, allow myself the cholesterol because I know that's not the problem. No, it's like a mystery play. So what is the problem? What is keeping women in America in this state of distress over the condition of our breasts? What could it be, folks? I'm going to stir my little egg here while I let you think about that. I mean, I'm stirring a little bit of my rage into my eggs because I'm really sad that that's a puzzlement to many of you. All right, I'm going to stir some seasonings. Again, organic is best into my eggs, and I'm going to share with you that the truth of it is that we women are not allowed to have a positive experience of our breasts in their natural state. I'm going to say that again. Women are not encouraged, educated about, or, dare I say, allowed to have a positive experience of our breasts. No. We're supposed to squeeze them into a machine like this, because that's what a mammogram feels like. And we're supposed to say thank you for that experience. Yes, that is where we have been, and we are moving forward. So I say to you, in my natural state, that the first thing you could do if you wanted to prevent breast cancer was develop a happy relationship with your breasts and stop wearing brassieres to hide them. You can still have bras if you like bras, but think about whether you really like bras or whether there was something gifted to you by society about what the expectations were and that maybe an honest relationship with our breasts has a lot of touch and feel to it. Yes, I did say that. Touch and feel to it. And if this is obscene on your station, then shame on us all.